right. Hello. Audio check. Audio check. Ooh, that's quite good. Ah. Hmm. No music playing at the beginning of the game. Well, that's fine. Gives us a chance to talk, a chance to chat. Ah, uh, right, well, hello everyone. Let me uh, check the, okay, bitrate looks good. And welcome to Spooky Saturdays. We are here today with a new game, Layers of Fear 2. This game was a recommendation from both Lorelei and from Tommy. Um, she's still known as Tommy in our Discord channel, but she did change her Twitch name recently to Anais. In fact, I think she's streaming now. I think she's doing Life is Strange too. Um, but they both recommended this game. And beyond their recommendation, uh, earlier on this channel, and uh, the videos have since been transferred to the YouTube channel, uh, we did stream the original Layers of Fear and the DLC Layers of Fear Inheritance. So I think it's... Uh, I think Layers of Fear 2 is going to be pretty good. I hope it's going to be pretty good. I enjoyed the first game and its DLC, and I look forward to diving into this game and seeing what it's about. But before we dive in, let us go through our opening announcements as usual. Uh, then we'll hit up the stream chat, and then we will jump into the game after I tell you what it's about. And after I sip my coffee. I'm out of my New York coffee. So, this is a packet of Jim Beam Bourbon Vanilla Coffee. No, there's no liquor in it. It's pretty good. I do prefer flavored coffee over non-flavored coffee, though. And I do like bourbon. And I do like vanilla. All right. <clears throat> so opening announcements for those who do not know for those who are here on the twitch channel for the first time or for those who are watching the vod or for those who will be watching the youtube video in about a week from now because twitch has like a 48 hour thing where when you stream something it remains exclusive to them for that time frame so i just wait like a week <sighs> welcome <sighs> i am cleaning my glasses but i am also lord orfeo your host and I stream a little something different for each and every day of the week. And uh, I do this for two reasons, two main reasons. Reason number one is I know that not every person likes every game or game genre. I get it. We are all unique individuals, and so we all have unique interests. And so I have tried to stream something different. I have tried to vary my content throughout the week to appeal to a more varied viewer base. Reason number two. And lens number two. Um, varying my content throughout the week also helps to prevent me from getting burnt out on any one game or game genre. And uh, I don't like the idea of going into a game that could be really awesome, but I'm just kind of burnt out on... Uh, on games of that genre and so I just I don't give it its due not respect but I don't give it its due I guess you could say I'm not able to value it at its true worth and so I do like varying things up a bit for that reason as well and so to that end I have established various what I call stream themes throughout the week and so on Mondays we have what I call Monday Marvels Monday Marvels, we can stream any game from any genre, but no horror and no role-playing games. We do value those game genres here, but they have their own stream days set aside specifically for them. You could probably guess that considering the title of the stream is Spooky Saturdays, at least it is here on Twitch. Much better. <sighs> um... Also, the gamer stream on Mondays cannot be part of a series. It must be a one-off. Due to that, we typically stream indie games on Mondays. Tuesdays, I take the day off. Wednesdays, in the Discord channel, we have anime afternoons. And so if you like watching anime, 
join the Discord, and uh, we typically screen through two episodes from a given series, and then afterwards, here on Twitch, we have our weekly Just Chatting stream called Community Chat and Gaming News, during which we discuss community updates, gaming news, and game releases for the week. Thursdays are our RPG afternoons, and so if you like role-playing games, that is the day for you. Fridays are Franchise Fridays, and Franchise Fridays are very similar to Mondays in that we can stream any game from any genre, but again, no horror and no role-playing games. But unlike Mondays, the game we stream on Fridays must be part of a series, hence the name Franchise Fridays. Due to this, we typically stream AAA games for Fridays. Saturdays are Spooky Saturdays, which is what we're doing today. Excuse me. And as you might guess, on Spooky Saturdays, we stream horror games and all things creepy. So if you like that, then, well, welcome. <laughs> and Sundays, I take the day off as well. So if any of those stream themes are of interest to you, then I encourage you to drop me a follow, and I hope to see you sometime during the week. And now, with our opening announcements out of the way, let us return to the stream of the day. Again, we are here for Spooky Saturdays, and this is Layers of Fear 2 from Bloober Team. I like that name, Bloober Team. Bloober. So, what is this game about? Well, every week I do a little type up. It's called Week at a Glance. If you're a member of the Discord, you go to Stream Updates and it'll be there. And so I'll just read what I typed there earlier in the week. Again, this is a recommendation of Lorelei's and Tommy's. And again, Tommy on uh, her Twitch changed her name to Anais, which is quite a nice name. I like that. Uh, but the game itself is a first person psychological horror game with an emphasis on exploration and story. We assume the role of a Hollywood actor who heeds the call of an enigmatic director to take on the lead role in a film shot aboard an ocean liner, which is very different from the first game. But we must beware, for all may not truly be what it seems. For those of you who were here for the other streams, uh, or streams of the other games in this series, you will know that the original Layers of Fear takes place in an abandoned house. Um, and its DLC, Layers of Fear Inheritance, takes place in that same house. Uh, in the first game, Layers of Fear, you were playing the role of a man who used to be a husband and father, and uh, his wife passes away, though some somewhat still haunts him. You're not entirely sure if she really just haunts him or if it's something in his head. Uh, and his daughter was taken away from him due to his deteriorating mental state. And uh, it's his journey through a house that used to be his, and like, to some extent probably still is his, um, and what ultimately becomes of him. In the DLC, Layers of Fear Inheritance, we play the role of his daughter, who has grown to the age where she no longer is um, in the orphanage where she was sent, and she has chosen to return to her family home to discover what remains. Here in Layers of Fear 2, it sounds like we play a completely different person. Um... I'm not sure what this will be. I wonder, I wonder if the director of this film is the daughter from the first Layers of Fear, from the DLC Layers of Fear Inheritance. Uh, her father was an art... What was he? Yes, the father was an artist. He was a painter. The mother was a musician. Uh, the daughter seemed to inherit traits from both parents. But, um... We don't really know truly what became of her. I think when we play the DLC, we got the bad ending, and she actually died in a house fire. But that may not be the true ending, and I'm guessing it isn't. So, will she make an appearance here in this game? I don't know. Um, I don't know how the games are connected. Perhaps they're not connected. Perhaps they're only thematically connected. But we'll see. We'll find out. So let me pop in my earbuds. Otherwise, I won't be able to hear the game. 
and we'll jump in. Okay. Yeah, there's no music at all coming from the game. Which I'm fine. Good to hear my my lovely voice without having to try to, to overreach and hear it over anything else. But um It's a bit unusual for, for games to have no music at the uh the start screen, at least for me it is. Alright, let's go. And select. Oh, there's the music. Adjust the slider until the image on the left is barely visible. Really? I can't see an image on the left at all. I can see the image on the right, but the image on the right is barely visible. I wonder if this is going to be another Dark Souls. For those who do not know, in Dark Souls, Dark, we're playing Dark Souls Remastered for RPG Afternoons. The game is so dark. And also the game for Spooky Saturdays we played a while ago called Echo Night Beyond, which was also by From Software. Um, both of those games were so dark that we had to max the brightness. And even at max settings, well, at least for Echo Night Beyond, it, it still was too dark. Um, for Dark Souls Remastered, max brightness feels like default brightness. So it's, it's kind of crazy. That's pretty good right there, like, in the middle. I wonder why when it started it was, like, further down. I don't know. Um. To me, they look the same brightness. They both look pretty dim. One does look brighter than the other, though. Is that halfway? I think we'll just do halfway. I can't tell what's the half point between on this bar. I feel like it's like in between these two settings. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it a bit darker, that's fine. You can probably change in the settings after you're done. Alright, continue. What are the other settings? What do we got? Gameplay, language, English, yes. Subtitles, yes. Oh, they were on by default. Thank you. Scale, I don't know what the scale is going to be. We'll keep it there. Vibration, maxed, good. Crosshair smart, I don't know what that means. Oh. Maybe smart means like when you when you move the cursor over something, it changes its picture depending upon what you can do. Like maybe if it's something that uh like a door that's locked, maybe it'll see like a hand with a key sticking out from the hand, so like you can unlock the door if you have the key. Or maybe you can just pick something up, it'll look like a hand reaching out to grab something. Maybe that's what it means. That's fine. Head bob. A lot of people seem to hate head bob in their games. I like it. I think it enhances the game. I think it makes it seem more realistic. Field of view. I have no reference for what the current field of view is, so I'll leave it at the default. Safe mode. Wait, what? I can't select safe mode. I wonder what safe mode is. Maybe safe mode is something you either have to unlock, or maybe it unlocks as you play the game. I feel like safe mode might be where you can't die. Like, maybe you just get scares and spooks, but nothing actually tries to kill you. That could be it. I guess that's if you're having a really hard time through the game. Alright, what about video? V-Sync? A console game has V-Sync? Frames? No limit. Sure, let's do no limit. Let's be, let's be risky. 
I wonder what's gonna happen though. I mean, you're, I'm only streaming in 30 frames per second anyway, so. I can't put down this coffee. It's like, it's really good. I'm sorry, Jim Beam is not, to my knowledge, a name that's really known for their coffee. But man, they have good coffee. Okay. <sighs> um, you know what? Let's just leave it at 30. Like I said, I'm only streaming in 30 anyway. Uh, gamma, we already adjusted that. I think that's the brightness. Audio? Okay. Let's bring sound effects down. I want sound effects to match music. And I'm actually going to crank up music a bit. Because it feels like it's a little low. Uh, but I always like voiceovers to be at max. Output. What does it mean? What? That's weird. I don't know what it means by that. Maybe the default output is, like, supposed to be virtual surround sound. Maybe TV speakers is, like, stereo. I don't know. Um, did we even change anything? We changed the volume on the sound effects. Wait, does it stay that way? It does, okay. Just making sure. Uh... No, I don't think we've changed anything yet. We might change the field of view once we get into the game. We might mess with that. Controls, invert axis, I hate that. Sensitivity, it's fine for now. Bindings, I don't know what the controls are. Next, let's go back. What are the controls? What? There's no controls? There's no... Nothing is bound to anything? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. They're telling you this is the default... I guess, but you can change it. Okay. Okay, so R2 is interact. Circle is cancel. Let me hold the controller. L2 is zoom. Okay, triangle is crouch. Why would you put triangle triangle to crouch? L1 is run. I'm not liking this. L3 is toggle run. Yeah, I'll just use L3. Up is inventory. Square is transcription. I think that means, like, if you're reading a paper that's written in a certain script or font and you can't read it, press square and it'll just give you, like, an easy, easy version to read. Um, do I want to change any of this? Kinda. Yeah. Interact A button. Not A button. X button. Circle to cancel is fine. Oh, running could be either L1 or R1. See, I don't like that. I would prefer there to be no run button and just L3 to toggle run on and off. That's what I would prefer. I wonder if I could... No, you can't do that because you have to pick something else to replace it. Um, like, I would just eliminate this altogether. Um... Yeah, let's make zoom the up button on the D-pad. Can I make crouch also be circle? No, maybe you have to hold an item while crouching and walking with it. And if they're both assigned a circle, you might just drop it while crouching or trying to crouch. That could be a problem. Um... Oh, easy solution, easy solution. R3 to crouch. There we go. Uh, toggle run, L3. Okay, inventory. No. Inventory will be triangle button. N squares transcription. Okay. Now, hopefully, as we play the game, it has some sort of 
tutorial to remind me what all the controls are that I just said. But these, just reading it, this feels more natural. X to interact, circle to cancel out, up to zoom into an item, R3 to crouch, L3 to run, triangle to go into your inventory and square for transcription. Okay. And I think those are all the settings. Let us begin. Normal mode or safe mode? Oh, okay. Normal mode. Monsters can kill you. The game was originally designed this way. Or safe mode. Monsters are still there, but won't chase or kill you. Hmm. Interesting. So you're completely safe. Well, you're not necessarily completely safe. It says they're still there, so maybe if you get close to them, they'll kill you. But they're they're more just like a menacing presence watching you rather than trying to come after and kill you. I really don't know what I want to play as here. I mean, I've always said before that I typically want to play the game however it was originally envisioned to be played by the developers. I want that experience. At the same time, I do love exploring things and taking my time in a game, and I really don't like feeling rushed. So if I wander into, like, a hallway and there's a monster looking at me and supposed to chase me and kill me, I'd rather not do that. I would rather just continue to walk around and go through all the rooms normally and look at everything and read all the books and, you know, everything like that without, you know, monsters chasing me down. So I'm not really sure which mode I want. Um... This is tough. What's more important to me? Experiencing the work the way it was created to be experienced? Or satisfying my strong desire to explore everything? I'm gonna have to say experiencing the art the way the artist intended it to be. So we're gonna go with normal mode. Monsters can kill you. The game was originally designed this way. Now, if the game was originally designed for safe mode, I would play it in safe mode. Okay. Is this a cutscene or can I turn? It's a cutscene, okay. Press any button to continue. I like how it's in 4x3 aspect ratio. At least right now. That's like old school uh, TV and movie right there. Oh, wow. They just dropped us right into it. I did not expect this. All right, so there is a fire behind us. It looks like maybe those are doors and wood fell and blocked our, our way back and there's a fire there. I'm guessing we have no memory of what transpired either. The original Layers of Fear doesn't do this to you. I mean, you walk into the house in both the the base game and the DLC, you walk into the, the abandoned house and yeah, it looks run. Well, actually, when you first walk into the... Um, there's sort of like a an entryway before you enter the, the actual living room. And the entryway looks pretty pretty decent. Uh, it almost looks like it's, it's maybe a little bit messy, but it doesn't look bad. And it's not until you walk into the living room and look around that it looks something like this. But uh, I expected that since we're supposed to be an actor, maybe we would enter into uh, the movie or the the ocean liner ship and it would look like it's in pristine condition and then as you play through the games like slowly it starts to go crazy and stuff starts to get corrupt it's kind of like a silent hell game 
But it's just starting off this way. That's kind of crazy. Unless the movie that we're supposed to be in is a horror movie. And then the fake stuff starts to become real. Maybe that's what's going on. That would explain why it's dilapidated like this from the very beginning. Unless this is the present scenario. This is the present time. And uh, we'll start having flashbacks as we play and we'll learn how the game got to this point. We shall see. Okay. Okay. Pardon my mumbling occasionally. It helps me to uh, to calm the nerves when I I chat. Okay. I'd say the turning speed's pretty good. The field of view is okay. Crouching is done very quickly. All right. I just tried to run a little bit. I wanted to see how fast, like, the run speed was. It seemed pretty good. But I don't want to run through the game. I want to take my time and enjoy this. The ship starts rocking. Kind of cool. Okay, I hold the up, up on the D-pad. So I guess when you hold up on the D-pad, you can zoom in on anything. Okay. And I won't gonna come. No. I can't go in there. Can I go in here? No. There's not even an option. See, this is different from the first game. In the first game, you had a crosshair. And with the crosshair, like, you could move it over the doorknob and at least try to open the door. And if the door was locked, then it would just say, oh, it's locked. Or I can't get in, or whatever. Oh, it stabilized. Is the ship sinking? Let me stand under the water. I want to see something. Ah, well. I wanted to see if the water hit my face, would I? Would there be, like, water droplets across the screen? And there aren't. That's a cool effect when it does happen in games, but not all games have it. It's a small attention to detail, but, yeah. The textures in the game look pretty good. I like the cracked paint and the water damage there. The, the cracks in the paint on the door, the scratches, that's kind of cool. I like that. I wonder if this game makes anyone seasick with it tilting so much like this. Looks like we're supposed to go to the right. Treehouse. I feel like this is not the main game. I feel like right now... I feel like this is the, um... The movie set. I feel like we're gonna get to the end of something and then it's gonna you're gonna hear like a voice saying, Cut! All right, that was good. Let's call it a day. And then, like, you'll wander into another part of the ship and it'll be, like, in pristine condition. And the only reason, like, this part of the ship looks so... so bad is because that's, um... This is, like, the actual part where they're recording the movie. Nope, can't go in there. You probably have to go down there. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Nothing there. Oh, there's more artwork around here. Hold on. What is this? A ship with fishies. And the cycles of the moon. Hmm. Looks like the ocean liner. That down there looks like the ocean liner as well. So, so far we've only encountered two different paintings. A tree house and the ocean liner. Can't go in there. 
I can't even see what this is. I don't know if there's a door there or not. Nice chair. Oh. That looks like a sliding glass door. Nice. Maybe there's like a little, uh, little walk where you could walk out there and see the water. Have a smoke. I like the texture work on the painting, too. Like, you can see the brush strokes. Very well done. It was like that in the first game, too. Press X and move the right analog stick to open the door. Oh, that's nice. It does, uh... It does tell you what my controls are. A barrel? Yo-ho-ho -ho and a barrel of rum? I see the white circle on the doorknob there, so that's what they want us to go through. Still want to look around here, though. You can kind of see the faint outline of a sofa over there. Looks like it's facing the glass. Dirt. Okay, alright, alright, let's go in. Oh, this hallway looks like... Slightly better shape. Nice curtain. like the gold embroidery. Nope, nope. No, it's because I was holding the other door knob. Alright. Can I go back here? I cannot go back. Can I move it? I can't move it. Okay, I tried. Can we see our feet? We cannot. I don't remember if we could see our feet in the first game or the DLC. Room 42. Wait, can I go in here? Oh, that's not a door. That's just hand railing. Hello? Looks like a curse of L. I'm guessing it's one. Very nice bed. Chest five. Oh, this is a metronome. Glass or something. Nice glass. Can I open the chest? I cannot open the chest. Also, according to the website howlongtobeat.com, this game is supposed to go on for between five to ten hours, so I'm not sure if this is going to be a one-shot or two-stream uh, two session game. 
probably gonna be a two stream session game though. And I'm gonna have to blue screen a moment. I'm starting to slouch in my chair and it's cutting off my chin here on the video. So let me uh, dive into the camera settings here and adjust that. Just a moment. Okay. There we go. We got back. Now you can see my whole head again. Now I can improperly slouch a bit. Okay. Let's see what's piece of music here. I know what that is, but it's not letting me pick it up. It even has like the white shimmer on it, but I can't collect it. This is a... It has like a music recording on it. This same device exists in uh, the game Amnesia. Why are you doing this to me? Can I zoom in and pick it up? Ah, I had to zoom in. I see. It's where they would do that, but okay. Testing one, two, three. Trophy earned. Sound bite. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Was that it? Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. I guess that was it. Nice texture on the wood. Yes, yeah, so we can see the swaying of the chandeliers. I'm guessing this is the ship. Build the character, connect the memories, dreams, and fears. Prepare for the big role. Recording. It kind of looks like where I was. Hmm. Oh, I see now. I see why they did it that way. So in order to cause this to flip over, I have to hold the X button with one finger and then move the camera button with the other. That's why they didn't have the interact button as X, because you would have to... Okay, I got you now. I see why you did that. Um, yeah, then let's, let's change that then. Let's change the binding on that. Um... I wonder if I could just make this L1. Yeah, and then they just swap, swap that with X for run, which is fine, because I'm never going to use that anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Build a character, connect the memories, dreams, and fears. Prepare for the big role. I wonder if there's a reason why there's four dashes before the word act and two dashes after. What's this? Daily dispatch telegram. Received at. Hope you settled in all right. Remember what we talked about. Focus on what you do best. Go to that special place of yours. Find your motivation. Build the character. Trust me, it'll be worth it. I'll try to keep in touch. Travel safe, your friend and agent. Press circle to stop current interaction.
Now I'm kind of wondering, should I make should I keep L the interact button or should I make it R1? Can I can I even do that? Looks like I can. Okay. So now either button is interact. That's fine. I'm not sure which I'll ultimately use, but that's fine. I like that you can assign multiple key presses to things. Oh, did that light up outside? I remember that being so bright out there. It was more gray before. Maybe reading this somehow brought more color to the outside. Oh, there's one slide in there so far. I guess we need to find more slides that look like that. Okay. Hmm, the standard turning speed feels a bit slow. Okay, that's a bit better. And I'm questioning whether or not to increase my field of view. Okay, so it zooms it out. Yeah, I like that better. I don't know. Is this realistic? Is this more realistic? I feel like it's less first person now. Like, I really want to get comfortable with the controls before I try to, like, start having monsters chase me through hallways. Oh, there's a ladder here. I didn't notice that either. So long I have struggled to finish what was started. I had nearly lost hope, and yet here we are. Oh, I can't flip the card. Hmm. Okay, so long as I hold L... So L3 isn't really a toggle run. It's... Okay, that's... Oh, no, it's sort of a toggle run. So if I press L3 in and then start to run, I don't have to keep pressing in L3. But the moment I stop moving forward run turns off and it goes back to normal walking speed. Okay. That's interesting. Alright. 
Good to remember, good to remember. Well, what's through here? Hmm. Before I open any doors, because I don't know what the open doors are going to do, I want to explore this full room first. I guess we'll keep it here. We'll keep the the field of view set to to this new setting. Because I'm, I feel like I'm noticing things that I didn't notice before at this setting, and maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's a bad thing, I don't know. I really want it to be more of an authentic thing. Um, more of a realistic thing, so... Ha, but this is helpful. What is this? Oh, that's irksome. I kept pressing X button to interact with it. Esteemed traveler, the room has been set up as per your request. The reel was delivered shortly before departure. We wish you a fulfilling journey. Respectfully, Icarus Transatlantic. This is kind of... Uh, like, I kind of wish that I could have, like... Three buttons set to interact. Um... What if I have run set to L1 and then X and R1 set to interact? I think that would be better. So that way if I have, if I just see an item and I want to interact with it, I can just press X. But if it's something I have to manipulate, then I would probably use R1 instead and hold it down. All right. So similar to the first game, I'm guessing we have to find items that go here and then that ultimately paints a picture for us here. Maybe that restores the ripped page. I don't know. Hmm. What is this? Circle to exit. X to zoom in. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's just a wave. Looks like maybe that's the, the sun off to the left. Is there anything here in the water that I meant to see? Maybe not right now. Maybe later on I'll come in here and I'll look through this thing and see some, some cool or crazy stuff. I don't know what that's supposed to be. That Maybe that's like the face of the monster that'll be chasing me later on. Room 40. that? Oh, film reel. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. Oh, no. What was that? It looked like they just popped in out of nowhere. You're gonna have to change the settings again. The more I mess with the game, the more I think that the default settings are probably, like, the, the best settings. Um... There we go. So then what did it make Renmates up run? I guess that's okay, I'm never gonna use that anyway. Build the character. Preparation. Explore. Who am I? Where am I? Oh, 
Oh, and the mirror is all, like, messy, so you can't see your own reflection. I wonder if he's, like, a really dedicated actor to the point where maybe he gave himself some sort of medication that, like, blocked out his memory. And it's like, like, that's how he prepares for a film, and then he, like, reads or watches movies about who he's supposed to portray, and then he just assumes that. And having no memory helps to, uh to prepare him or make it easier so he doesn't have to overcome his own personality. He just becomes a personality presented to him. Looks like there was something hanging there and there. Oh, actually, all along this wall, paintings have been removed. Mm hmm. So do we want to watch the film first? Or do we want to try... Bathroom. Gold bar of soap. Oh, the toilet does flush. The water goes down. Let's see. On ourselves a nice bath. Uh oh. Oh, now I feel bad. How do I turn off the bath? I thought I turned it off already. Let's try both to the right. It keeps bouncing back and forth. Is it? No. Okay, there we go. I dislike the idea of wasting water even in a video game. Nice robe. Very nice bathroom. Wow, we slam that door. Ah, door's locked. So, no recording studio just yet. Guess that's what awaits us outside the dilapidated ship. Okay, let's go watch ourselves a movie. the others, while the others watch him. He's expected to behave properly, wandering through worlds that aren't really there. He puts on masks and adjusts accordingly. Each mask is a character, each character a layer. Layers upon layers calling out to him. He must build the character he was meant to portray. Or lose himself. Completely. Submerged. Tightly surrounded by lives he's never lived. And yet, he stands on a stage where every man must play a part. And his 
is a sad one. Act One, The Unmooring. I feel like maybe I'm supposed to walk into the movie screen. The door closed. I left the door open. And I don't have the option. Oh, that's a little scary. I was going to say, I don't have the option of turning the camera off. But that's irrelevant because the reel of film isn't even on there anymore. It looks like I put the reel of film back, which, by the way, that is a really pretty film case. Um, oh, those are those are mice on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like those are the same mice that were um, that the main character in Layers of Fear One was obsessed with. That's a nice little homage to the first game. Yeah, I feel like I'm supposed to walk up there and then, like, I find myself inside that room. Let's try and open the door. Oh, this is not where I just was. Nice leather sofa. Leather and hardwood. Whoever designed this ship had some really good taste. Wait, what's that? That oh, was the power cables. Okay. Esteemed Traveler, as per the Director's request, this section of the ship has been closed off to all passengers and crew. We wish you a pleasant and fulfilling day. Icarus Transatlantic. Because they're using this part of the ship for the movie, okay. Bowl of pears? I haven't had a pear in a while. Oh, pears and green apples. I doubt there's any anything significant about the fact that there's five green apples and seven pears, though I counted them anyway. A couple bagels. Looks like maybe some coffee. Some water. Maybe a bit of beer. Nice iron, some towels. I'm chained in. What was that? I thought I heard a door either locked behind me or... Wasn't sure what that was. Oh, my door locked door to my studio locked itself. That's freaky. That door is locked. I wonder, though, if this door would have been already locked. Like, when I walked past this, did it, was it unlocked by default and it locked when I walked over there, or did it lock? Was it always locked? I don't know. I almost want to restart the game in case it was something in there, but I'm not going to do that. Very nice sofa. I wonder if it's significant how many fish there are. Three, four, five, six. I can't even tell. Hmm.
We have voices. Gold ashtray. Nice. Something about a daily sketch. Did you sleep well? That was disturbing. Can I do that again? mirror it looked like that image of the little boy I saw in the intro what is that I guess that's just a metal behind the broken glass it looks like a newspaper clipping though I wish I could read the paper Probably nothing significant in there, though. Can't read that paper either. Wilson takes office today as 28th president. Woodrow Wilson? Nice decanter. And pipes. We've got pipes there. People don't really smoke pipes anymore. Well, I mean, they do. But you, don't, you don't really see it. See them out and about that much anymore. Do I have the ability to play the piano? I'm not giving me the option to play the piano. Looks like I can see a little bit through the windows over here. I would like to at least, like, run my fingers across the keys. They look dirty, though. Hmm. Maybe they're not dirty. Maybe it's just a well-used piano. Alright, is there anywhere else I can go? No? I feel like I'm dawdling because I don't want to, to push forward into the truly scary stuff. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh. It's quite the shift in scenery here. You just locked again. I hate it they do that. Okay, so this is like a dining area. Nice greenery here, nice plants. Green and gold. Nice plates, nice bowls. I'll leave the radio on. I thought maybe I would change the channel. What's this? Listen, once you get there, just do what you have to do. Get to the set and build this character for him. That's all that matters. Hmm. Like a little mannequin doll. But the legs are broke. Ah, hello, Chatu. Lurking. Have you played this, Chatu? I don't want to ask you too many questions, because you are lurking. Nice glasses. Like a nice ship out there. Hmm.
Locked? Ah, we made it outside. I didn't think we'd ever get outside, honestly. I thought we'd be trapped inside the ship the entire time. That didn't last long. Looks like we have to go back inside. What is this? Can I use this? I guess not. I guess this is a light that's meant to be shown onto the water. This is an interesting idea. The ship is supposed to be populated with people. You just don't see anyone because the director has, I guess, paid for this part of the ship to be sectioned off for the movie. But, like, life, normal life, is going on beyond our reach. Why are there three handles here? What does this do? It, this... Was the door locked before? Oh, maybe it was. Goodbye outside, I will miss thee. I don't know if locking the door is a good idea. I keep trying to pull the door open and it pushes it out. I guess it can only go one way. Is this where we were before? The beginning? Before stuff went crazy? I feel like it is. Did it lock now? No, it did not. Not yet, anyway. Nice luggage. You don't see luggage like this anymore. Oh, did it lock? It locks. I wonder what this is. In case of fire, strike the knob. The knob? What knob? Oh, this knob? That's not a knob. Hmm. Maybe this is like a fire alarm. It looks like a horn, like a metallic horn. Maybe it produces some loud noise to let people know the ship's on fire. I hear voices again. Yeah, yeah, I know you've told me a million times how much you hate the sea. And I'm telling you, this gig is just too good to pass up. Icarus Transatlantic, to the edge of the world and back again. SS Ulysses. Um, French a la carte restaurant, two promenade decks, three elevators, Parisian cafe, most luxurious first class suite, guarantee of a swift and comfortable journey. That sounds nice. I like the pen. I guess whenever you're near something that you can interact with any kind of lore bits, you'll hear whispers. Hmm. Hello? Hello? I'm not going to get in there yet. I want to try this door. It's locked. Okay. Never mind then. I 
There is a chair inside the elevator. Nice. Going down, I suppose. Use the emergency lights? There's just a wall in front of us. Let's try it again. Go further down. There we go. Can I go back up? No, of course I can't go back up. Hello? Is there no one here to direct me? I hear the voices again. The voices. Oh. What is this? All third class passengers this way, please. Did you check the lower decks this time? I swear to God, if we find any stowaways again, you'll never set foot on a ship again. Hmm. Like a conductor's whistle. That's neat. I press triangle to go into my inventory, but I guess I don't have an inventory screen. I would, I would just want to keep that. Maybe we're not going to keep it because it's not ours. I guess that makes sense. This is not an Elder Scrolls game. We're not a thief. Alright, looks like there's a door down there we can maybe interact with. Stairs which lead further down. More luggage. I guess this is where all the luggage is brought on board the ship and later on it gets sorted out and taken to people's rooms. What's in here? Oh, I wonder if this is, like, the third class section of the ship. That's locked. You would have had to pay, like, a lot of money to, like, rent out an entire area of the ship. Like, I guess we didn't only rent out, like, a, a full wing of, like, a first class suite. We rented out, like, what, like a quarter of the ship? It's a large section of the ship. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay, so there's a door there. That was locked. I'm trying to make sure I try all the doors. But it's not always apparent to me where the doors are. Okay, that's... Wait. Oh, that's open. Okay. Can I go down here more? Yes. I can't mess with that yet. Oh, there's a door. I'll leave that for now. Oh dear. I don't think this is... I feel like, like I'm invading someone's private space here. Nice boots, though. in here. Oh. I guess a couple is staying here. Nice dresses. Nice jacket. Wait, was there something in there that I was supposed to see? No? Okay. I thought maybe there was a note inside the jacket pocket or something. Maybe that's why they allowed you to interact with it. Those are really nice boots, by the way. Oh, no one's going to read anything to me this time. Okay. In an unprecedented move, 
The director decided to shoot his next motion picture aboard an ocean liner traveling across the Atlantic. Plot details are kept under wraps, but our trusted sources claim that the project has found its star. It looks like it says star in, and then the name is scratched out. An obvious choice, perhaps, given the star's fabled career and numerous critically acclaimed roles. It seems that the recent worrying rumors as to the artist's personal life have not dissuaded the director. Hmm. So our, our character, our actor that we're playing has a past. Okay. Stacks of newspapers. I don't know why, but I want to press L3 to crouch, and I want to press L3 to run as well. It's weird. I have to remember that R3 is crouch. Okay. Some bunk beds. Nice little writing desk. Third bed here. Wardrobe for a third class cabin. This is a pretty nice cabin. No windows, though. Okay. Now we're ready for this room. What's that? Imperium. Hmm. Maybe in case of fire, that helps put stuff out. Is this like a crew area? Door locked. That's gotta be a really cool thing, like, to work on a cruise ship. I've been on a cruise before, and I've talked to people who work there, and they're like, they have to sign a contract. I think it's for at least a year. And uh, they say it is, it's not easy to work on a cruise ship. But I feel like that would be quite an adventure, at least for one year out of someone's life. To be living at sea. What's this? From security office to chief security officer. The new procedures come into force as of next week. The company holds you personally responsible for enforcing them. Prepare all of the guards for detailed briefings. As you are well aware, there have been prior incidents of unwanted individuals making their way aboard the vessel. We must ensure that does not happen again. In short, stowaways will not be tolerated. Hey. I don't see anything in here. It's too dark. No? You guys got a leak here. I guess I know about that. Why it's there. Wrench? Huh. Nice little fan there. What do we got here? Hmm. We got a key. What's the key to? Oh, we got to keep the key. Okay. I guess it's to something. Alright. Let's not waste electric. I wonder if the key is to this door.
Oh, one of the cases is open. Looks like someone went through the clothes. Oh, is there a stowaway? Is that what's going on? Is that what the game's hinting at? That someone is down here with me that's not supposed to be? That would make for an interesting uh, twist. I don't think that's the case, though. Or if that is the case, if anything, they'll save me, or maybe they'll be um, fodder for the monster that will be chasing me. Who knows? Press R3 to crouch. They really have to work on their uh, their piping here. What even is that? Is that? Oh, I guess that's like water that would go to like like drinking water for the ship and like shower water and stuff. Okay. Never met the guy in person, but few people have. That's why you hear all these rumors about him being broken or disfigured. All that nonsense. I wonder if you're talking about the actor or the director. And actually, I think that's the voice of our agent, so I think they're talking about the director. I wonder if the director is the man from the first game he was a painter but maybe he got into filmmaking into movie making he did break his leg he had a prosthetic developed could be You know, you kind of... Ooh, there's the rats. You kind of forget head bob is on. Like, if you walk slow, you can see the head bob slightly. But if you walk at, like, a normal pace, for me, it's barely noticeable. Which is not a complaint, just an observation. Hmm. More film stuff? Hmm. Are these props for the movie? That looks like a painting back there with an eyeball looking at me. Like half the face is covered. I wonder if that's... I wonder if that's the portrait of the artist, portrait of the director, who is the, uh, the, um, the movie maker, or, um, the character from the first Layers of Fear game. Did we ever hear the voice of the main character from the first Layers of Fear game? I feel like we did. I feel like it's very different from the current director's voice. There's bars there, so we can't go that way. There's bars here, so we can't go that way. And there's bars here. Oh! Okay. Hmm. Okay. Into the bowels of the ship we go. in here. I guess we don't need a hammer for anything. Oh, that's a nice touch. A bit of a spooky touch there. I don't know if you noticed that. 
So we open this up, and inside we see a hammer, and then underneath is red, and it makes it look like that maybe the hammer was used to bludgeon someone, like it's a murder weapon. But then when you walk over here to the left, you see that that's a paint can, and it's probably red paint. So that's probably where it came from. You can see there's paint linking out of the can, too. Ah! I was whacking myself in the face with the, uh, the lid there. Ooh, what is this? A radio room? Hmm. That's cool. These have to be props. Well, maybe not that, that part of it, but... The director didn't really pay to allow me to come in here and mess with all the radios, did he? I would find that hard to believe. Okay. What does that say? Red hero? Redhead? Hmm. I can send messages. I wonder if there's a trophy in this game for like sending out an actual like SOS message or sending out like a Morse code message. That'd be kind of cool. code. Oh, this is different. That's where I was earlier. Hmm. Hello. Oh. Sorry. Lock the door, too. Okay, all right, fine. That's locked. Going through there. Hmm. This looks like a really nice staff dining area. Well set table, well prepared table here. This one has a bunch of luggage down here, though. It makes me think it's for staff. Oh, there's a piece of paper over there. Hmm. But this time, no, no voices, no whispers to draw our attention to this. Dear fellow traveler, I apologize for being forward, but when I'd heard we were to travel on the same ship, I could not resist the temptation. Just think of me as an admirer of your talent. Your performances, they speak to me like no other ever have. To say that you are my favorite actor would be a gross understatement. I do wish we could meet in person. Still, if you could grace this modest piece of paper with your signature, I would treasure it more than anything. 
In any case, I remain forever your greatest. What? Your greatest what? Your greatest Taomina? Oh, your greatest admirer. Okay. I mean, if I had a pen, I would, I would honor that. I just, I don't think I have a pen. Yeah. I'm trying to bring up my, my inventory with triangle, but I can't do it. Well, had I taken that fountain pen with me earlier, I would have given you a signature, but I'm afraid, uh, I forgot the pen. I guess that's casual reading. I guess this is the uh, the library. Smoke. We'll get to that in a bit. What's this? Guy's got a reputation. Makes his actors jump through hoops before he even lets them on the set. Supposed to be some new method of building the character. Bunch of artsy fartsy bullshit, if you ask me. Just go with it. Guy doesn't take no for an answer. Hmm. Maybe he wants his actors to play a, a role as a slightly mad person in his film, but first he has to drive them mad. Base is blotched out. That could be a character for the main game. Or maybe. I think in Layers of Fear 1 they said that, like, madness sort of ran in the family. That it would only be triggered by certain events. Maybe the daughter of the painter from Layers of Fear 1 survives the DLC, which I'm, assu I'm assuming she does, even though we got the bad ending. Um, maybe she goes on to get married, has a son, and the son becomes the director. That could be it. All right, let's see where the smoke's coming from. Where's the smoke coming from? weird. There's nothing aflame. I don't remember where that was before. I would say so far the game is doing a very good job of sort of lulling me into a a relaxed state because we've been exploring this ship now for it feels like about half an hour um there's some unusual things happening like smoke from nowhere and like doors closing and locking behind us when we walk through them or how we'll walk into a room and then we'll turn around to walk out uh through the door from which we came, from which we entered, and the hallway will be different. So, it's building slow. Also, the numbers have uh, been taken off most of the doors now. Oh, 
another library. Oh, this is where we were before. Only before there was luggage here that prevented us from walking straight across to that door. Actually, the luggage that's here, I think, was over here. Now I hear whispers. So what if the guy's a little nuts? He's a director. He comes with a job. I mean, what's he gonna do? Kill ya? I hope not. This portfolio is broken. Now I'm walking backwards to the library. I think it's all an act. Phantom hmm. of the Opera Mask. Nice rug. This production, miniature copy, sketch, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I have to say, very nice, very well-designed ship. But you guys gotta get some more artwork. Unless this is, like, part of the director's ploy to, like, drive us nuts by having similar artwork throughout the whole ship. It's not a bad piece. It's a little little rough, but it looks okay, but you need more more pieces of art. Rather just the same repeating picture over and over again. I can't get to the do I have to crouch, I have to crouch. From Icarus Transatlantic Security Office to all officers. Most of you are already aware of the Hollywood motion picture that is going to be shot aboard our vessel. We are sending you detailed guidelines as to which decks are to be restricted for regular passengers. Above all else, the film crew and cast are not to be disturbed. See, I feel like this makes the game less scary to me. Like, I mean, yes. I haven't seen anyone, and it's like, yes, it's it's probably going to get scarier. But just knowing that, like, there are other people on board the ship right now, like, just living their normal lives, eating dinner, out hanging on the side of the ship, watching the waves, the crew's just going about and doing their thing, like, the ship's not going to crash into anything because it is being piloted by the whole crew. Like, just knowing that there's all the, uh, you know, this on the bulk of the ship, there's there's actual life going on. That makes me feel less afraid. I don't have to see anyone to, like... Oh. I don't have to see anyone to, um... <laughs> To have that knowledge that um, that I'm not alone, or I don't have to see anyone, I should say, to, um, how do I want to phrase this? Just knowing I'm not alone on the ship, that there's non-crazy people on the ship, makes me feel more comfortable. So I guess now is when the game really gets scary here, walking into the darkness.
Now, is this the set? Is this our stage? Looks like it. A weird globe. Is our shadow. Give it a spin. It's badly cast. Are you insulting me? You haven't seen me act yet. There's always a way. A light in the darkness. There's always a way. Hmm. Back to the door I came in through. Do you remember? Do I remember what? Before the world told you who you should be, do you remember who you were? Come. I will make you remember. Trophy earned. Lights, camera, action. The movie begins. Do you remember? This looks like where we came from. So many have tried. To be a part of my greatest work, as if there was ever a choice. Only one can bring this character to life. Only one is broken enough to build it. Hmm. So were we chosen as the actor for this film because we are broken? Maybe. I always like closing the doors behind me. I feel like it's the nice, it's the proper thing. Even though if I didn't, they'd probably slam shut behind me and lock anyway. Big flower. Oh, it's a camera. I guess we're rolling. I believe in you. Oh, thank you. That sounded a bit like like Peter Pan whispering to you. That made me think of like a lost boy or or like Tinkerbell whispering Peter Pan. I believe in you, Peter. You can fly. Oh, the flower's gone. Hmm. Sunny day. Thought that was a door for a moment. Hello? Oh. What's in this cage? Is it the missing flower? Wake up, Mr. Hardy. We've got to get out of this godforsaken prison before we rot. Hmm. Pirate eye patch. What was the name they used? Mr. Hardy? Is it a lost boy name? Or is that for like the 
Hardy Boys? Seven to eight. I wonder if that's going to be an important number to remember. Let me type it into stream chat. So I won't forget. I have learned to do such things, otherwise I tend to forget. Oh, what's this? No. Seven, two, eight. Ooh, I figured it out. Oh, <laughs> someone left their pajamas here. I think those are pajama bottoms. Oh my. Hmm. Hopefully that was just sent to the laundry. There's no one running around here buck naked. What's that? Is that a sack down there? Locked. I start to walk up the step ladder. Ah, we have company. It's probably a mannequin now. What's this? Are we? Are we really going? Lily, I, I'm. That's Captain Baines to you, Mr. Hardy. Remember the name, Quartermaster, or I'll have you walk the plank. I wonder if this is the Hardy Boys, or is if it's talking about the. I've never read the Hardy Boys. I know it's. I think it's supposed to be a group of brothers who would use their imagination, conjure up all kinds of adventures for themselves. Before I pull the lever, because I feel like it wants me to pull the lever, it looks like this, this circular floor thing is going to rotate when I pull that. I want to go up here and look at this guy. Hello? Hello? How are you doing? My merry mannequin friend? Hmm. What's this? Wonder why that's there's a chalk outline there. Is that where the table's supposed to be? Looks like it. Oh, there's a chair there, being hung with a cable. So I guess that's where the chair is supposed to be. Oh, I don't know why you would have a chair attached to the ceiling, but okay. What's through here? Ah, more mannequin people. Remember her. It looks like I can interact with it because it's flashing, but I can't get back there yet. Alright, let's go pull the lever. like the waiter coming to take his order? I 
we can't pull the lever again. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That's a nice little touch. Tubes of paint. That's like a little, that's like another little homage right there to the first layers of fear. There's a number on your head. 90. Or 9,000. I can't tell if that number down there. What if he has a number on his head? I think it's the same thing, 90. Either 90, 90, or 9,000. This is supposed to be an elevator. Can I go this way? precise you have to be with this. A little bit more. A little bit more. Almost. Almost. Let's try that. What? It's not hitting the table, is it? That looks pretty spot on to me right there. Come on now. Really? I guess it's more like more up here. All right, I'm right under the chair. Okay, so I do have to rotate it some more. Fine, 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 fine. Alright. What about now? Finally! Lost his head. How about you? You still okay? You look okay. Oh, can I go back here now? Oh. Is this meant to tell a story? Person walks into a restaurant. Waiter comes and approaches him to get him something to eat. 
After dinner, he meets a young lady. I'm trying to target it. Oh, you have to walk up here, I see. These images, memories of you, they've been haunting me. And yet you cling to them, because without me, you have nothing. Hmm. Oh, I kept the painting. Trophy earned. Debut. I wonder if that was optional to pick up the painting. I almost gave up on that. I didn't realize there was a stepladder there before. I'm like, I guess I can't get over there and and grasp it. How are you doing? You right? Nice hat. Mm hmm. Hmm. Is this a door with no doorknob? Looks like it. Hmm. More chalk stuff. What do we got here? Go up. Look right. I can almost, I'm supposed to, I guess, twist the knob on that door. I just can't do that right now. Then go up. Let's follow the chalk trail. We have some fire there. Hmm. X marks the spot. What about this door? That's locked. Nice boots. Nice top hat. a bit chilling. Oh, this is where we came from now. Well, there's there's a whole bunch of lines around here now. Hmm. It's locked. Okay, we'll try to follow this as best we can. Go this way. Hello. Oh, fire's gone. I was going to say either out or gone. It came out as gout. Ooh, sprung a leak. It's not good. Okay. Do our best to follow the path. Aha! We've made it in. What's this? Cigarettes? They look like cigarettes. I'm back, Mahardi. Scouted out the whole area. Looks like there's a trail we can follow. A trail? Aye. Left by fellow pirates, no doubt. To lead us to a safe harbor. Oh, a box of chalk. It says Cranes. Maybe Cranes is a brand in this game. It's been a long time since I've touched a piece of chalk. I don't get why some items we pick up and we collect and then others we just leave here. I would think to either pick up everything or to pick up nothing. We can go that way. We can go back that way. We can go off that way. 
arrow's pointing that way. Let's try going this way. No? What about this way? No? Okay. So I guess we're going this way. Can I see anything through there? Not really. like we're on the other side now. Oh, is that an easel? Looks like we're on the other side of this. The pr this production is a miniature copy of the daily sketch. I feel like all that typing right there, even though it's way too small for me to read, I feel like it actually is something. Like, I feel like someone actually wrote an article or maybe found a very old newspaper, and that's a replica of it. It makes me want to read. Oh. Oh, that's nice. The texture work on the, uh, the clothing there. Hmm. They didn't have to do that. That's a nice little touch. Oh, we're back here. Is this the same room from last time? Wait, what was that? Okay, never mind. I thought I saw a message out there. What's here? Oh, another music? Wait, what's this? What's this? Times and description of activities. 10.05 p.m. Break over. 10.30 p.m. Cast repair technician leaves the ship. Through the... Gangway of E deck aft. 11 p.m. Patrolling the water just along the ship. 11.21 p.m., maybe? No, I'm going to have to bring up the... There we go. Uh, 11.27 p.m. On patrol near the cargo area. Saw a shadow move. Small. Most likely a child. I gave chase, but could not find anyone. Line circled in red. Midnight. Watch over. Hmm. Ooh, box of cigars. Wooden hangers. Nice. Again? Nice shoes. Ooh, what's that? Oh, a telescope. There she is, Mr. Hardy. The fastest vessel ever built, ready to set sail for the land of the flame. I don't see any sails. Shh. We must make our way aboard, quietly. It looks like I'm supposed to go that way. Chalk drawing is saying to go this way. I could go this way if I wanted to. It's blocked. Hmm. Maybe that's where I'll come in through.
I would say so far the first game was scarier. Ooh, treasure. Very nice. By now in the first game, you were already shaking. The atmosphere was pretty thick there. But in this game, it doesn't seem to be uh, too frightening. At least not yet. Maybe it has a slower start than the first game, but once it picks up, it really picks up. Hello? How goes the ship? Hmm. Lots of waves. I see some shark fins there. Otherwise, it seems okay. What's this? That's locked. No going below deck yet. Are you my first mate? No? Maybe you are? Hmm. Can I open this? Nope, oh, that's locked too. Alright. I'll take the helm. Let's go to the right. To the left. Yes. Back to the right. Have a new friend down there. Hmm. The ship either realistically rocks, or maybe I'm a bit dizzy from spinning that wheel so much. I don't know. Now I can open that. Well, can I open this now too? Nope. All right. You there? Watch the ship. I'm going below deck. And uh. Our cannoneer there seems to be sleeping on the job. Wake him up. Oh. oh, there goes our ladder. Oh well. Am I still crouched? I can't tell. I cannot crouch or stand up. Oh, what is this? Red rose petals? That's locked. Oh, the door closed. The hands are already throwing me rose petals. What's in here? Avast, Mr. Hardy. Too many of them scurvy dogs to take head on. Lily, I want to go home. Quartermaster, steal yourself. Be your heart soaked in doubt, or be there a fire burning within. Oh, that's him and his younger sister. Very cool wooden pirate sword. Well crafted. Nice hat too. What's this? Arrow pointing to a cup? Hmm. Cannon fire, that was impressive. Not sure we should have fired the cannon down here while, you know, inside the ship though. That's uh a bit reckless. What's that? Hmm. This is the locked door. All right, I'm back. Is it dawn or is it sunset? No, oh, 
I was crouching the whole time. Oh my. Bright sun. Bright sun indeed. It looks like the weather's improving. Cannoneer is still sleeping, though. Well, maybe he needs the rest. When he wakes up, tell him to lay off the rum. Oh, what's that? I thought instead of going up the ladder, I could have walked around. There's this little spiral here. Oh, that's a nice light effect. Sails there. Hmm. All right, I'm back at the helm. Do not worry. Oh, do I have to turn us towards? Oh, what's this? Spin left. Yeah, that was a fun pirate play. You, though, you never did wake him up, did you? In cahoots together, were you? Probably. Mm -hmm. Wait, can I? Oh, I can go this way now. black and white film now? Made to order. Refined carpentry. One sturdy wooden chest built entirely of old oak with heavy iron banding, additional leather straps, and carrying handles on the sides, large enough to fit a grown man. We hope you'll find our work to your satisfaction. Hmm. Maybe that's one of the chests they used to carry treasure in. And I don't need the fan on, that's fine. Hmm. Oh. We'll leave it on. Provides atmosphere there. Oh, character? I think that's supposed to spell character. No, wait. C H A R A. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, character. Okay. Oh, maybe that's what the board was, was spelling out the first time. Instead of just act, it was spelling out character. Be ready to go back. I'm ready. Am I supposed to flip this again? Is that meant by going back? Probably not. Nope. What's this? It's locked. That's what it is. When it says be ready to go back, does that mean I'm supposed to literally go back? Well, there's an X here. Okay. I'll go here. I went there. And now it's saying to go... What? Well, there is an arrow pointing that way. Let's see. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't think that's where I came from. I mean, I, I think that is where I came from, is what I meant to say. Do I go this way? Where do I go? Do I go? Oh, no. Oh, that's not right. Uh, do I go this way? Maybe they do need to go back to where I came from. All right, let's try that. Oh, is that what you meant? Did you really mean to go back to where I came from? It locked. I guess that is what they meant to do. Okay. Chalk drawing there on the floor. What is that? Oh, no pirate ship though? No pirate ship. Oh, more black and white though. What's this? Oh, is this a treasure map? Looks like a treasure map. X marks the spot. Hmm. Just like it. Is that what this is? An adventure movie about collecting treasure? Oh, oh bank robbery, eh? I know what this is. This is... I wonder how many people actually know what this is. This is back when cameras would use film reels and then after that film reel was run through they could take it off and put it on a, a contraption like this and then someone would be in charge of rolling the film back up. To ready it for the next uh, the next screening. That's cool. Hmm. Oh, it's raining. That's impressive. They really went all out on set design here. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. Ooh, it's a bit dark in here. I guess he made the guy get up and open the bank for him. Let him in. Alright. What do we got here? We can go look in the mirror, or we can go... Not sure, really. So one person's supposed to be here, I guess? Oh, are these the bank guards? He made the bank guards uh, move to the rear inside the bank area. He took somebody hostage. All right, all right. Another paintbrush, another little homage to Layers of Fear 1, maybe? What does this do? 
hold up to run. Why would I... I don't have to. I can just press um, L3. Do I go that way? Or do I go to the left? I'm thinking I've... Oh, oh, I bet this is like the, the bank spotlight. That's what's going on. Oh, oh, oh. Otherwise, the bank guards get you breaking in. Ooh. I'm glad I didn't just walk in there now. Wait till it moves away again. They're on the lookout for us. see anything that way, though. Like, I, I don't see a doorknob over there. There's nothing over there. Hmm. What about back this way? Let's see. That's too dark on the left. I don't see anything on the right. Supposed to go over there? I think I am. Oh, oh, I made it. I made it to an office area. That was fun. Looks like the office of a private eye here. I'm not going to remember this. Uh, 10. Right. 80. Left. 40. Right. Shadows. I know you did it. You killed her. Truth is, it was her killing me. Slowly. All this time. Oh, well, maybe every time we pick up a painting. I guess eventually we'll get back to that main room area where the bed was and the walls where it looked like there was supposed to be paintings hanging around and we'll get to listen to the other audio recording that we found. We'll get to see all the paintings that we discovered hanging on the wall. That's probably what's gonna happen. Maybe that's what I meant by go back and build the character. Probably. Is this anything? Well, that's a book. The covers in the books here kind of remind me of the, uh, the Mist Linking book. Looks like we have another spotlight there. Oh, there's the hallway. You never let me be one to say that I, I ran from the spotlight. But... Ooh. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so we have to wait for it to bounce back to the left and then run right. Let's see. Oh, oh we made it! Oh, oh I am so good at this. I took a guess on that one, too. I wasn't really sure. Hmm. I don't see any spotlights. Ooh. Sledgehammer there. Is, is this us breaking into the bank? Be another route? We're smashing through the wall? We're tunneling through. Pull the treasure out. So it looks like I'm supposed to go that way, but what's this way? Why is this little flickering light going on down here? Looks like it's kind of irrelevant which way you go. Like, 
no matter where you go, it's going to take you back to the same point anyway. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, there's the other hole in the wall. Trophy earned. In one take. Well, I mean, I, I am a professional. What's this? I guess you can get caught. And if you get caught, you have to go back to the beginning of the maze. What's this here? Oh, a bomb. Is one right? 80 left. 40 right. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. That is a nice city. So if you forgot the combo that you were supposed to have memorized or written down uh, back in that little office area, you don't have to go back through the maze all over again. You just come over here and you can find it. You can use that. That's nice. Oh, we found the vault. We did it. We are here. We are here! Okay. Oh no. What? But there's no numbers here. Do you literally mean I have to rotate this to the right like 10 full rotations? And then count 80 full rotations to the left? I hope not. I feel like that's what they want me to do. I don't see any numbers here, though. Oh, boy. No? It's okay. I feel like this this process could take, like... To get it accurate could take, like, an hour just turning this thing. I hope I'm wrong. Okay. Will it give me a number? One. Two. Three. supposed to be about? Maybe there's multiple doors to the vaults. That's what it is. Ah, this is the door to the vault. Now we have the safe here. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I see what's going on. Oh, the combo is just to the safe. It wasn't to the vault door. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay. This is really secure. Safe inside a safe. Alright. So. Why are there whispers? Oh. Coins outside the safe, too. I don't see anything else I can interact with here. Alright. So, 10 right. See, even stuff like this, though, confuses me. Like, what does that mean exactly? Does that mean I'm supposed to move 10 digits to the right? Does that mean I'm supposed to go to the right until I hit the number 10? I'm assuming it means go to the right until I hit the number 10. And even then, I'm not really sure what that means. Does that mean, like, turn the wheel clockwise until I hit 10? Or does that mean just spin the wheel so that the wheel moves so that the numbers on the wheel move this I, I don't know what this means. I feel like I'm gonna get this wrong the first time well we'll, we'll see what happens though. okay so um okay go this way I'm guessing that's what that means until we hit 10 I do like the fact that you can control the speed at which you turn the dial that's nice okay and then go to the left, 80. Fifty, sixty, seventy, eight. And then to the right, 40. back away while I'm pulling this thing, whacking myself in the face with it. Oh, I closed it again? Come on. There we go. We got it. 
a conch shell and some coins? Is the shell like pure gold filled with gems? In the land we've seen behind shut eyes, the one of bright shores caressed by tide, where there's no pain, no fear, no fury, no lies. There we shall stand tall, our hearts full of pride. If your dreams are bold and by no man bound, if your soul is strong, unlike any other, able to build walls or tear to the ground, then yours is this world, my little brother. Okay. So the treasure was a shell. Oh, scenery changed. Are we back in the, uh, beneath the bank? We found our treasure, now we're trying to escape. I see, I see. Oh, this is the, uh, the side of the ship. Oh, I see. We've snatched the treasure, and now we're making our getaway. We're hopping a raft and, and rowing away. Is that what's going on? Probably not what's going on. No, it's not what's going on. Okay. No. I guess we're back to the pirate ship movie scene then. Okay. That's fine. We're so skilled we can perform the acting duties of multiple, uh, you see multiple roles at once. All right. So now what are we doing? We're following the chalk again. Okay. Yeah. We're back to the ship proper. Okay. Alright, so we're supposed to literally walk in a circle. Okay. And before I do that... Hmm. What's in here? Mr. Hardy is a quartermaster. Yeah, I'm gonna have to press the square button on this one. Mr. Hardy is a quartermaster, and that is a very important thing to be, because a quartermaster takes care of getting the crew where it needs to be, and also makes sure there's plenty of food and rum for everyone. It's very important, yes. Mr. Hardy is very loyal to the captain, and always follows orders. Because he knows that he, the captain, not Mr. Hardy, is a fearless leader. The captain sometimes gets cross with Mr. Hardy, but that's only because he cares greatly about the whole crew. The truth is, bottom of the page torn off. I keep trying to like flip the paper around. You could do that in the, in the original game, but for some reason you can't do that here. That's fine, that's fine. And there's a chalk drawing there, too. It's like supposed to try the door. Let's walk in a circle. Oh. Oh, we have another slide. Nice. Trophy earned. A slice of life. There's a door there. Looks like I'm supposed to try this door, though. Okay, before I do that, let's walk in this circle that it wants me to walk in. Walk in, in a circle. Can I open this door? No, that's locked. We have some microphones over here. I bet if you change the plug on these old-fashioned mics, they'd probably be pretty good stream mics. Okay. I wonder if this is going to take me back to my room. My lavish first-class suite. 
probably in time. Mm -hmm. oh, someone dropped a newspaper there. Oh no. Watching a deer film? Is this a documentary? the uh, the scene. That's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, this isn't a film camera. This is like a slide camera. That is cool. I like that. I like that. Oh, what's that? Is that a door? I'm going to move these frames really slow. I thought I saw a door up here. There it is. Oh. I almost went over there and just tried to open the door, but there's something here. What's this? It's locked. That's what it is. That's cool enough, but what happens if I walk away? Well, if I walk away, it turns back into just a film. That's neat. But what happens if I open the door and then walk away? Oh, the door closes. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Very nice touch. Very nice touch. Okay. All right. What we got going on in here? Oh. Bugs. Are those the public toilets over there? Did someone lay some, some foul smelling poop? And it's drawn the flies? Hmm. You know, a really nice thing about being out at sea when you are either on a cruise or you just go really, really far out to sea is there tend to be no bugs there. Bugs tend to, uh, to stick to land because there's no food out at sea for the bugs. So if you are allergic to mosquitoes or bees or anything of that nature, you're far out at sea, you can relax. It's pretty nice. What's through here? Oh, what's that supposed to be? It's an interesting piece of artwork there. Is it a tricycle? Eleven. I wonder if that's an homage to, uh... Aside from the bugs, I wonder if the hallway is a, and the tricycle is an homage to, um... What's that movie? That Stephen King movie? With the hotel and the little boy who could see ghosts? The Shining. I wonder if that's a reference to The Shining. I haven't seen The Shining in a while. I wonder if you can see that for free somewhere. Like, I know YouTube, you can see movies for free. Some movies for free. Oh, the door's still there. I didn't expect the door to still be there. I thought it would have vanished. Oh, look at that. You can still go back if you want to. That's kind of cool. Huh. At least I thought it would have locked. Oh, it's raining here. Some coins. We're heading back to the pirate scene. What is this stream of light right here? Hmm. Looks like we're supposed to go straight ahead, but what's up this little step ladder here? Hmm. No, no, not yet, not yet. I want to try the door, see what happens. It's locked. Okay, so we have to go up here. Ah, Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Brandon says, hey, oh, Orpheo and chat. How's everyone doing? Doing well. The Summer Fest event begins June 8th. Yes, indeed. I wonder... Actually, we are allowed to co-stream it. That's true. But what day does that fall on? I feel like that falls on a Thursday. I was right, that does fall on a Thursday. Hmm. <sighs> well, then we shall not be watching it. That is our RPG afternoons. But what we might do, what we probably will do, 
is... I don't know how long it's going to be. But we might go through and... Um, watch the whole screening on Wednesday. The following Wednesday. Uh, together. as a, Either as a special event... I'm gonna have to think about that. Or maybe we'll watch it that Sunday? I don't typically stream Sunday, but it depends what's going on that Sunday. We'll see. I'll look into it. I'll look into, um... I'll probably have an answer about what to do by this coming Wednesday, by the 31st. I'll make it known on stream. But I'll, I'll, I'll brainstorm stuff to do on, uh... Tomorrow and, and Tuesday. Thank you for, uh, for letting me know that, Brandon. What are you up to today? Ooh, more smoke here. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, this looks like uh, everyone's setting up this for the different skits. We have them setting up the cameras and setting up the the sets. There, it looks like there's the pirate ship in the background with the tattered sails, and then we have different walls being set up, strung up on cables. Very cool, very very cool. And then it looks like we have a guy dressed up like a pirate sitting at a table, just looking at a. I don't know if he's having a coffee or what's going on. Yeah, very cool, okay. What's this? Ooh. His hand extended up. Looks like he's rehearsing for a Shakespearean play there. Looked like he was going to give some great oration. Hmm. Oh well. Now I think he needs some uh, some great chiropractics there. Chiropractician. Oh well. Are we out the other side? I think we are. Yes, we are. This is Twelfth Night. This fellow is wise enough to play the fool. I, William Shakespeare. I was just talking about Shakespeare. Look at that. We have three paintings, one audio roll, and we have one slide, one new slide. Mm -hmm, the sledgehammer. Brandon says, there's nothing really for June. Just Diablo 4. Well, that's big. Street Fighter 6. That's really big. Final Fantasy 16. That's all coming next month. Amnesia the Bunker. I'm looking forward to that one. And F123. I'm looking forward to all of those. Well, to different degrees. Diablo 4 is going to be big, but I really do want to play through the original Diablo first. And if I take to that one, then I'll I'll play through the other Diablos. Street Fighter 6, I do want to get Street Fighter 6 because it's Street Fighter. But I would like to play through the other Street Fighters first. And I have the other Street Fighters. I have most of the other Street Fighters. So that will come in time. Final Fantasy 16, same. I think Final... I've said it before, I think Final Fantasy 16 might be the last Final Fantasy game I, I ever pick up. But, um, it'll be the last Final Fantasy released on PlayStation 4 on a console that I own. But for other reasons, it might be the last Final Fantasy I pick up. It seems like the series is going in a, a direction that I'm not enthusiastic about. But, um, I would like to pick it up and, and play through it. Amnesia the Bunker? that I will definitely be picking up. The Amnesia series is a very odd horror series. We've streamed through all the other Amnesia games on this channel so far, of which I would say there are 
four. Which is somewhat inaccurate. There's three, really. There's three and a DLC. But I count the DLC as a separate game. Because it has a, a separate main character and it has a, a different setting. For the most part. But, um... Yeah. We've screened... Or not screened. We've streamed the other, so... We're definitely going to stream the bunker. F-123, not interested in. Um, occasionally, I do like racing games, but I've come to learn that there are some racing games I'm not that into, and F-1 racing is one of them. F-1 racing, if it's similar to the F-1 racing in Gran Turismo 5, it's it feels very much like... Like the level of precision you need in an F-1 car is scary because of how fast they drive. It's like, if you make the smallest mistake, your car is going to go f literally flying and flipping off the track. And uh, that's that's a really crazy, crazy thing. I'm not sure if I, I want to race cars that actually drive that fast. Uh, for July, August seems really for game releases, to be honest. Oh, seems to be slow for game release. Well, that's a lot of games, so I would say that's okay. more slides we do got more slides they're not letting them they're not letting us pick them up though it looks like locations hmm oh, it looks like the out an outline of a person up there hello we always come with a burden i'm with a burden hmm Looks like I'm supposed to go that way. What's over here, though? Lots of shoes. Netted to a mannequin. Very nice shoes, though. They're all women's shoes. Hmm. What's oh? Figures. Faces, voices from the past, wrapped in a heavy, old bag. That looks quite nice. Is this how you store the spare mannequins? Oh, what's this? theater house looks a little like the um like the old photo from the movie the shining that shows a a group of people gathered at a ball and it zooms in on jack nicholson's face it kind of looks that, like in this picture when you look at all of the other people in here there's one character whose face is not faded out, and his face is in black and white, unlike uh, the faces of everyone else in the photograph. That looks like his face appears twice in the photo. Once at the very bottom, towards the left, just off-center, and then a bit behind him and to the left. Those are two different people, I think, though. The one with the black and white face that's almost in the very center of the photo, all the way at the bottom and to the left, looks like he's wearing a normal tie. And the fellow just behind him on the left looks like they're wearing a bow tie. Brennan says, oh, did you see Borderlands Twitter page? I did not. It was a tease of Lilith saying, hey, killer, and sticking out the middle finger, but censored. And it might be either a teaser to Borderlands 4, or perhaps the movie for Borderlands. Ooh, hype, hype. I don't know. I know they're working on the Borderlands movie. I feel like it's still too soon to announce a Borderlands 4. 
I feel like they are working on maybe Borderlands the pre-sequel part two. But, um, maybe it's to announce that they're working on that in addition to showing a trailer from the Borderlands movie during uh, the Summerfest event on June 8th. That's probably what it is. They have work on the movie, but still no release date? Yeah. They might give the release date on the, uh, or during the Summerfest event. Hmm. The head on the far left mannequin looks like it's nodding too early. That's a bit weird. I'm guessing it's gonna fall and crash down. Hello? Oh, can I walk under them? Hmm. Oh, there's more mannequins down there. Can I get over there? Mm, I don't think I can. Can I crawl under the table? I cannot. There's a door over there, though. Hmm. I'll be able to get over there eventually. Oh! I can get over there now. Anything through here? No? I guess not. Okay. No. No items to look at? No drawers to open? I guess not. Very flexible mannequins. The first thing to do Can I pull a rope? Is to get rid of it. Get rid of what? I know I said something else earlier that probably connects to it. Oh, the bird and get rid of the bird, and that's what he's talking about. We have a door here. That's locked. Hello? Oh, there's a key. Can I have the key? You can't, like, reach up there and give me the key, can you? No? Okay. Maybe this will do something. A little spark is all it takes to set the human soul on fire. Oh, that's true. People can be very passionate about things. You burned up the mannequin without charring the chair? That is impressive. We have a new key! Oh, this is probably the key to the door that was locked. Mm. Brennan says, and they have the cast already set. It's kind of weird, because in the movie General Knox... Is coming out, but isn't he a DLC villain in the game? Yes. So it doesn't make sense. I don't know what they're going to do. With the Typically, with video game movies, and I think this is why so many people have problems with, with video game movies, is a director or a set of screenwriters, they look to the game for inspiration to create the story, and then they are tasked with taking a movie, or not a movie, a game, and pulling what they feel are the, the best bits and pieces from the game. The, the bits of funny dialogue, the characters, the interesting story bits, and squishing it all together to create a movie. And then they also put their own spin on it. And if they feel there's not enough good content there, then they'll dig into the DLC if the game has DLC. 
I don't like the way they're... I, I mean, I'll watch it because I'm a Borderlands fan, but I wish they would have just started with the events from the first Borderlands movie. Not movie. From the first Borderlands video game and made a movie based off that. But I understand why they don't do that, because Borderlands 2 is the fan favorite game. So maybe they're going to make a movie based off Borderlands 2, and if it does well enough, then they might go back and make, like, an origin story, like the Borderlands 1 movie, and the Borderlands pre-sequel movie, which would be awesome. And the Borderlands 3 movie and stuff, I don't know. But I hope they do it justice. <sighs> Y'all still hanging out? They're still hanging out. Okay. Bye! Hmm. We're behind the scenes. What's that over there? An act of creation always begins with an act of destruction. Does it? I guess you could look at it that way. If you're going to, to build a movie set, it sort of disturbs the pre-existing environment. You try to paint a picture, you have to destroy the pure white canvas. When you Cover it with paint. I guess I could see his point. Ooh, what's this? A ball? A metal bearing, perhaps? Oh, we kept it. Oh, this is the recording door. This is the door, I think, that uh, led to our room. Where did it lead to our room? It led away from our room, but we couldn't go through the door before. So I'm guessing that leads us back to our, our nice, swanky, first-class suite room. What's inside the cup, though? What's in the... That's a... Like a pestle and mortar there? Oh, there's slides everywhere in there. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well... I'm ready for my close-up. Oh, is this the main stage after all? Hello? One life ends, another begins. One life ends. The right one. I thought that was a cutscene. I thought it was walking me forward. Something on the table? Oh, an old-fashioned pistol. Action. Oh, I choose who to shoot. It seems like... I wonder if this leads to a different ending. No. I guess I have to shoot... Why? Choose to shoot the man or choose to shoot the lady. It seems like the actor, not maybe not the actor, but it seems like the story that we've been seeing so far is like the man shot the lady. But, hmm. I don't want to do that. I think what I'm going to do is shoot the man. But I'm going to do it in a unique fashion. I'm going to try, if I can, instead of to shoot the actual person... Oh, can I walk around? I can't walk around. I'm going to try to shoot the top hat off his head. If it'll let me. Can I back up again? Can I cancel? I thought he'd say, why wait again? <sighs> Brennan says the cast is Claptrap, Lilith, 
Atlas Soldiers, Tannis, Haley Bennett, I don't know who that is, Moxie, Roland, General Knox, Larry, I don't know who Larry is, Jacobs, Soldiers, Jacobs has Soldiers? I guess they would. Krieg, Marcus, Krom, I don't know who Krom is, Scooter, Hammerlock, Quinn, I don't know who Quinn is, Psycho Soldiers, Ellie, Drunk Mercenary, Lance Soldiers, Crimson Lance Soldiers. When you say Drunk Mercenary, that makes me think of Mordecai. Random Citizens and a Cowboy. Prom is from Borderlands 1. I don't remember that. Action. Oh, I can't aim the gun. I can choose, like, left or right, but I can't aim it up or down. Why wait? So I have to choose to shoot the woman or shoot them? I'm not going to shoot the woman. I'll shoot the man. Oh, he's trying to give me a clue. The right. Do not doubt. Act. He's telling me to shoot the figure on the right. He's telling me to shoot the lady. I don't want to shoot the lady. Probably would have been a trophy, though, if he shot her the first time. Light comes on. Light comes on. I'm just going to keep going for the guy see what happens. No. You look... He's being more specific now. I shot the guy anyway. A story as old as time. Trophy earned, go off script. Who are we to rewrite it? Who are we to deny it? We must look deeper. I guess it only had one bullet. Oh, that's what that was. The thing we picked up off the table, that wasn't a metal ball bearing, or maybe it kind of was, I don't know. But that was the bullet that we loaded into the pistol. That's what that was. Now can I walk, now I can walk around the table. Okay. Now I wonder if because I shot him, Right? I wonder if that's why that or a door opened over there. But I wonder if I shot her if the, if like there would have been a curtain open for me over there. Maybe that's why there's like a like a light there. I wonder if that's the case. I mean, it's a very small box to your room. It kind of makes me think that maybe if I would have shot her, a different door would have opened. Oh, that's stinky poopy. No, actually, I'm, oh, I guess it's just a camera. I thought maybe that light was shining through the bullet hole that we shot that went through the mannequin, but that wouldn't even make sense because she was sitting right there. Maybe it would have gone into that part of the wall, but we shot the male mannequin, so the bullet hole should be, like, over there. I'm going to crouch underneath the light.
<laughs> Evaded. I'm not sure we're supposed to evade that light. I think maybe we're supposed to walk through and that would have triggered stuff, but oh well. Let's keep going. Oh, what's this? Looks like I'm supposed to go that way. What's this way, though? Now that's that looks like where I was earlier when I first came across the uh, the vase that had the flower, and then I went through that door. Maybe this is like going in a circle. I'm still gonna crush you going to the light, though. I feel like maybe if I would have just walked through one of the, the lights there, maybe that would have triggered like a chase scene and I would be running right now, like es escape from something. But since I'm just crouching the entire time, I'm not triggering anything. There's a door. What's this way? Nothing? Nope, nothing. Okay. Okay, just making sure it's closed. I hear music. Oh, now it doesn't matter. You have to go through the light. Oh, I feel I know where this is. Last time we found a door that we tried to open, and we could open it, but we could only open it partially, and there was a mannequin standing. Yeah, I think that's the hallway we were in earlier. So I guess we are going in a circle. So I guess we're heading back now. Okay. Now all these... these and pricks of light make me nervous, though. No evading them this time. Here we go. Wait, can I look through there? Music is only playing in this area. Hmm. Nice music. Makes me feel like I'm supposed to look through one of these holes to see something. Ah, music stopped. Nope, oh, nope. Still kind of playing. Yeah, this is the other side of the ship. Okay. The, the crew bench there. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to take us outside again. Oh. Oh, there's a waiter. Oh, that's the door he opened. Okay. Hammer and a toy cat. Ah, hello, Fusion. How are you doing, Fusion? Fusion has redeemed. Hello, I'm new to stream. Well, welcome, Fusion, to our stream for the very first time. Again, how are you doing? And Fusion has redeemed Hydrate. Very well. Cheers, Fusion. Of water here.
Anahuna. Is that Hawaiian for I am here? Arabic. Oh. Let me see. Playing some layers of fear too. Fusion. Just eating. Gonna play more Jedi Survivor later. Cool, cool. So far, Fusion, this has been a very relaxed game. I wouldn't have expected that, but it is. Black and white, huh? All right. I hear either footsteps or my heart beating. Hmm. Am I supposed to sit in a chair? See a door here anywhere. Hmm. Is this a door? Oh, there's a pathway through here. Oh, this is like an elevator, I think. Okay, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Well, it's not an elevator, but it looks like an elevator door. Uh, hello? Hello? I kind of look like a moving mannequin, don't I? With my... The way I'm, like, standing with my arms and fingers spread out like that. Am I a possessed mannequin? Maybe. ship is tilting again. Must be rough waves outside. Oh. No, it's fine. I can... Oh, I can't crouch under here? Oh, bother. No, we can't. We can't. But there's nothing back the way we came, is there? No, there is. A new path opened for us. Oh, looks like you fell asleep watching TV. Pardon me. Sir? 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 Can I stand? There we go. You okay? Hmm. Maybe just having a good think. I think. I'll let him be. Okay. Oh, there's someone. Yeah. Maybe we have a new companion to talk to. Hello? Are you doing alright? Is that light shining through you, making you hot? I can turn on the fan for you there. Does that feel better? If it gets too cold, just turn it off. Oh, we have someone else there. You must have woken up. I didn't see you. How are you doing? Are you doing well? You look well. Hmm. Oh. That's how you were standing before when you were trying to rob the bank. I see. Oh, you opened a path for me. Yeah, I appreciate that. 
Well, I will see you two later. Maybe that was an appreciation for me turning on the fan. I crouch under the lights just in case I'm supposed to. I'm not sure if I am supposed to or not. That's a thing. Hmm. It looks like it leads to the outside. Ooh, it is bright in here. Or everything is painted white, one of the two. here. Hello, Ink. How are you doing? Hello, Orf. I love this game. <sighs> yes, I heard Tommy talk of it. And she seemed very enthusiastic about it. How are you doing, Ink? Shout out to Ink was last casting, at least when I last saw her. She was casting a Resident Evil 3 remake. It's fun to watch her. Ink plays a lot of spooky games. So if you were into Resident Evil or Parasite Eve, or sometimes Silent Hill or some other spooky fair, definitely check out her channel. <sighs> But yes, I beat the first game, and I beat its DLC, Layers of Fear Inheritance. This is my first playthrough of Layers of Fear 2, and um, it feels quite calm, at least for now. I think that's different. I'll wait on that. No, I can't interact with this. Okay. What about this? Okay, so that, that opens. Is this still open? No, now that's locked. Okay. <laughs> the white room. Okay. I felt more pressure in the first game than in this game. And it's DLC. But I think that's because... In the first game, and I don't think you've played the first game, Inc. But in the first game, the first Layers of Fear, you enter into a house, and I think it's raining. And so it's, it's li either late evening or night. And it's raining out, so you know there's there's not many people out and about uh, to begin with. And you also don't know how close the, the house is to someone else. And so, for all you know, you're way out in the middle of nowhere in this spooky house. In this perhaps haunted house. And I think it's the isolation that makes it scarier. But with this game, when you go through and you read the notes, it talks about the director wanting a section of the ship um, partitioned off. And so, even though I am sort of alone here and I have the voice of the director sort of urging me to move forward, knowing that I'm not alone, knowing that while this may be a large ship, um, that there are other people here, there's a full crew, they're out and about doing their thing, making sure the ship runs correctly, and. There's other passengers on board, and it feels like this is just 
I'm in just a small, tiny section of the ship, but everything else really is normal. And it's it's kind of knowing that, or at least being told that, because that may not be true, but at least being told that, it makes me feel more relaxed. It makes me feel more at ease. Can I go through here? Okay, what about here? That's locked. What if I close this door? Oops. Okay. Now, how about now? Nope, still locked. What about this door? Okay. I wonder if that one's only locked because I tried that one first. Did it close all the way? Yeah, I think. Did it? Yeah, it did. Okay. We have a map? Look what I found, Mr. Hardy. This chart will lead us away from peril and into safe harbor. Oh, that's good. Okay, so... Two rooms that are not so safe. Three rooms that are... Hmm. Enter here. And then... Hmm. It looks like stay away from the rear of the ship. Or the front of the ship. One of the two. I have yet to, to need to run from anything. And we've been going on now for almost... Three and a half hours. But I do like the design of the game. I like the texture work. When it plays, the music is okay. It's suitable. The sound design is interesting. I really like the voice of the narrator. The story, what bits we're beginning to piece together, which isn't too much. It Ooh. takes courage to stand up to someone stronger than you. It's true. I could oh. never do it. I wasn't brave enough. But she was. Hmm. I think right now the director says he's trying to remind us of who we were before we became an actor. So maybe this is us reliving bits and pieces of our childhood. a drawer. I thought that was a briefcase. I'm not trying to pull it up. I'm trying to select the card. There. Oh. Almost had it. There we go. Props. Shopping list. Replica of a 17th century flintlock pistol. One. Fully operational. We shot that one already. Flash powder. Looks like that was scratched out. Gunpowder. Four kegs, 66 pounds each. Are we going to be firing that pistol that much? Ammunition, five boxes, a hundred pieces each, and a hundred dummies. Oh my. This sounds like a pirate adventure, all right. They are quoting the Hardy Boys, I think. It seems like we're, we've been hired to do a pirate film. 
we've already encountered some pirate uh, ship sets and seem pretty cool. What is that? Imperium? What's in that was probably the brand of the barrels, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Not sure what that was there. Hmm. I wonder if you are curious. There are two modes you can set this game to. There is normal mode, and there is safe mode. Which I think is interesting. Safe mode, I guess, makes it so that you can see monsters, that's what the game said, but they don't kill you and they will not pursue you. Um, and then there is normal mode, in which they will pursue you and in which they can't kill you. This is set to normal mode. I really had to sit for a while and have a good think about which mode to choose. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like the floor is kind of moving there. I don't know if those are worms or slugs. Or maybe nothing's moving at all. Maybe it's just the lighting that's moving because the ship's rocking back and forth. That could be it. Um, I really like to, to not feel rushed and explore things at my own pace. So safe mode was very tempting, but What I prefer more than that is to try to experience the piece of art the way the art creator intended it to be experienced. And it said that normal mode was the way the game was intended to be played, so we are on normal mode. Anything in here? Ah, what is this? Only one of us knows what must be done. Only one knows what is at stake. The other does it need to know? Does it need to understand? Only to listen and act. Mm. That sounds like a message to us from the director. Can I go in here? Nope. Oh, locked. Okay. Music's quite relaxing. Well, sometimes. Oh, a flashlight. Lily, I think there's something in the dark. Shh, someone's coming. Hello? Anyone there? Oh, the flashlight's broken. <gasps> Bloody hell. The chief wants it checked so bad he can bloody well do it himself. Oh, I think that relates to um, a message from the security chief. Apparently, the ship is beginning stowaways, and they're supposed to to make sure that no one's trying to uh, to hide anywhere in the lower bowels of the ship to gain free passage. Oh, oh, is it a cup? Oh, that is a cup. I thought that was uh, an audio reel. I thought that was a tease, like I couldn't pick it up for some reason. Hmm. Well, hold on, I'll explore the noise in a moment. Did something open up back here? No, I guess not. Is this something? Hmm. 
flashlight would be helpful here. Oh, this is a door. This one, the cargo hold. Nothing here? Nothing here. Follow the rats? What's this way, though? Nothing? Oh, I can't move it. Maybe I have to be on the other side. Oh, I guess that probably moves this out the way. Ah, there we go. Thank you. It's polite to close the doors behind you. Oh, is it the young lad that we were following before? Mm. These aren't toxic fumes. Pardon me, sir. I supposed to have run? Oh, that's locked. I'm not sure where I am. Oh, now I know her. Hmm. And ultimately, where do I go? I guess run at him and then run to the right? I'm not sure. safe now? Can I open the door again? That's not letting me open the door again. That was a bit spooky. This bottle do. Hurry, we have to secure it. They'll be here any moment. Lily, I, I'm scared. You should be scared. You know what happens if they find us. They'll send us back. Supposed to run there? I'm turning very slowly. Woo. 
I'm stuck. There we go. We turn so slowly. Okay. Transported me. I see. Oh, we got some color back. Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, that's like a little playhouse right there. That was their little, uh, oh, that's cool. Oh, the imaginings of children. Oh, nice. Maybe this is where the, I don't know, maybe we're, we're one of the actors, or the cameraman is supposed to sleep? Act two, the hunt. Hmm. Oh, I guess it needed to load. I didn't know what else it was supposed to be. Was I supposed to press a button? What was going on there? Oh, are we back? Are we back to our room? I think we are. Recording. That's still locked. Actually, that wasn't originally locked. Before, that was the door to the bathroom. Now that's locked. Okay. Yes, we're back. Daily Dispatch Telegram. Heard you got off to a rough start? I know you have your idea of who this character should be. It's your right. You're the star of the show. Just remember, the director might be an odd duck, but at the end of the day, you're on the same team. Your friend and agent. There's the pirate hat from earlier. Was it there earlier? Might have been there earlier, not sure. Inside every actor is the one part they were born to play. I agree. The one character they were meant to build. Chip away the bloody marble. Give form to the formless until all that remains the truth. Character with the mask on. What? 
free scotch? Show your true face? Is that a real word? Hmm, I don't know. That is a real word, I've never seen it before. Ah, we have multiple slides in there now. That's the new slide we found. I wonder if we missed one. Hold on. Yeah, there's a space between the two slides. Maybe we missed uh, locating one. Hmm. We got another audio thingy. Oh, that's nice. A light kind of flickers around the, the second one, so we know that's the new one. Well, I would like to pick it up. Oh, oh, we had it. Hold on. There we go. Okay. We are now entering the eastern part of the borough. This particular area holds a special place in my heart, as I grew up not far from here myself. A few things have changed, it seems, for better or worse. I see children playing in the streets, not a care in their little minds. If it wasn't for their shabby clothes, one could almost forget about the crushing poverty that plagues so many of the local families. But what do we have here? A boy, sitting on a park bench, alone. Perhaps he won't mind if we pick his brain a bit. Good morning, young man. What's your name? Good morning, young man. What's your... Morning. Good man. Your morning. What's your name? James. James Sunderland? From Silent Hill? female clothes here. They weren't here before. And I assumed we were a guy. Oh. We heard the new Audi recording. We see the new slide. Let's see if we can get upstairs and look at the uh, photos. Or the, the photos. The pictures we came across last time. Are any of these filled in yet? No? No. Page is still missing. Nothing. Do we see anything different through here? It's storming. Hmm. Oh, what's that? Looks like a little tugboat. Trophy earned. Fisherman. anything else out here. I'm expecting giant octopus. Uh, oh! There it is. That's cool. I was expecting giant octopus tentacles or giant Cthulhu tentacles to come out and, and menace the ship. Double shot. I guess these are all the parts we started in before. shadows. Remember her. Twelfth night. Maybe the game wants to, to make you think originally that you're actually this guy here. But maybe you're actually her. Could be. That would explain the female wardrobe. Pretty sure I know how this is gonna go. Let's 
last time we went to the other room, we watched a film, we walked back out, and we were no longer in this room. We were um, in a new area of the ship. Can I still open this door? Trophy earned. But do you know the way? Choice and consequence. You build one character, you destroy the other. But which one is which? I didn't want to do that. I wanted to explore the upstairs. I hope I didn't miss any... I probably missed something up there. Ah, uh, well. Ah, uh, well. Oh, wait, I'm in bed again. That's weird. I mean, I'm grateful that I'm back because I can go up and hopefully see something else in that film room that I didn't know about before. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe every time we find a new slide, we can adjust this and then walk outside through the recording door and it'll give us like a little flash of something different. That could be it. If that's the case, then I guess, um, hmm, maybe we can do both slides then. I don't know. But I do feel like once we go upstairs and through that door, this whole room will not be here anymore, and we'll start, like, the next chapter of the game. I wonder how many chapters there are in the game. Hmm. So far, I find this pretty interesting. Compare it. I'm, I'm thinking, like, I'm comparing this to the other layers of fear games. In the first layer of fear game, there is sort of a monster, but you have to, like, walk into the monster in order for it to hurt you. It doesn't really pursue you. Um, but the character that you play as feels demented. They feel like they're... They're crazy and borderline violent. And the game kind of clues you in that they are kind of violent. Um, and the further in you get, the more grisly the game gets, the bloodier the game gets. In the DLC, uh, Inheritance, the game feels more sad than scary, though it does have its scary moments. But there's never really a a monster in the game. Um, in this game, there is a monster. It does pursue you on occasion. But I don't know. It, it, it still feels like this game isn't quite as, as scary as the others. But to be fair, we've only played through Chapter 1. It could be the further in we get that this game is going to scare the crap out of me. We'll see. But I don't know how long this game is. Um, according to the website howlongtobeat.com, this game is supposed to be between 5 to 10 hours. Um, I think this is longer, or supposed to be longer, than the other two games. I think the first game said it was like 3 to... I think it was like... What was it, like, three to eight hours? And it took us, like, I think about ten to one-shot it. So I think what I'm going to do is take a break here. Uh, maybe we'll try to tackle one chapter every Saturday. But, yeah, I think we're going to call it here. It was a little creepy, a little freaky. We've been going now for four hours. So we'll be back next Saturday with Act 2. And I don't know 
Like I said, how long that's going to be. Turn to main menu, yes. Okay. I don't know um, how long uh, it's going to take us to get through Act 2 and how many acts there are, but I am looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back here next Saturday to see what else meets us. So let me see if anyone else is streaming right now. Let's see if we can throw a raid over to somebody. I see someone. We get to continue our theme of spookiness. So I follow someone named Alilakit. And to be honest, I don't remember why I started following her. It's maybe souls related. But right now, she's doing her first playthrough of Silent Hill 2. So we can hop over there and uh, show some support. I'm going to get a fresh cup of coffee and some brunch, and I'll settle in for the show. But let me set that up. Uh, before we head out, though, I do want to say thank you to those who came and showed support. Thank you to Ink. Thank you to Fusion. Thank you to Brandon. Thank you to Chatu. Thank you to all the lurkers. We will be back next Saturday, like I said, for more Layers of Fear 2. And... The next time I'll be streaming uh, will be this Monday. I want to make sure I spell the name correctly here. There we go. Oh no, I know where I know this guy from now. I came across his channel when he was streaming Alan Wake. That's what it was. Um, but yes, the next time I'll be streaming will be this Monday for Monday Marvels. And we'll be starting a new game called Last Day of June. And it will be another one-shot, meaning we'll start and complete the game in a single sitting. It's not supposed to be very long. I think it's supposed to be like five hours. So... If you are in for another artistic, emotional experience, uh, then I will see you Monday. Uh, so yes, maybe I'll see you Monday for that, or maybe I'll see you next Saturday for more Layers of Fear 2. Or maybe I'll see you in the next few moments in Kitch Channel or Silent Hill. Have a good weekend, everyone, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.